One obstacle that often comes up in the lives of people who want to minimize their possessions is they can't find the time to do it. And this process takes work and it takes effort and it takes energy. It's hard enough to minimize one room of our home, much less an entire house. So how do we find the time when we're already living busy lives? Let me give you two quick principles and then eight short ideas. Number one, know that any time invested minimizing your possessions is always time you get back on the end afterwards. We invest a minute here in removing things. It gives us an hour on the back end of less cleaning and tidying and organizing and maintaining. The second principle is this. You can find five or 10 minutes every single day to declutter possessions. But as Zoe Kim says, do you really want to spend the rest of your life decluttering? Probably not. It's way better to find some intentional time to get through as much as you can to begin enjoying the benefits of owning less as quickly as possible. So how do we do this? Let me give you eight ideas. You're not going to choose all eight of them, but let me give you, maybe you'll pick maybe one or two that will work for you. Number one, wake up early or stay up late. This was my primary way of finding time to minimize. I woke up early. My wife stayed up late. Somehow it worked in the long run. I used to wake up around seven o'clock every single morning and I just set a several week time where I woke up at 5.30. I knew it wasn't a permanent change. It was just a short term change and I was able to do it. I was able to find over an hour every single morning to work on whatever room I happened to be going through. Number two, you can cancel one appointment or cancel one reoccurring appointment. The luncheons you take with the ladies, the meetings that you don't actually have to go to, the responsibility at school or church or that organization that you took on. It's not a permanent change. You're not giving it up forever. You're just setting it aside for a few months while you make these changes in your home. Number three, very similar. You could postpone one hobby, tennis, fishing, golfing, crafting, scrapbooking, Zumba, going to movies. I don't know what it is that is the hobby for you, something that you enjoy doing. Again, you're not giving this up forever. You're just postponing it for a little while while you minimize your home. Number four, take a staycation. If work allows and you have the vacation days available, take them but don't leave town just stay where you are and work hard to get through as much of your home as you can a fifth way to find time is to turn off television or limit social media look i realize rest is important and downtime is important and i'm not saying that you have to get rid of all of that but could you cut your tv time in half or cut your social media time in half this was the other primary way that I found time to minimize. I just stopped watching television at night and used that time more intentionally removing possessions. Another thing that you can do is you can arrange childcare if you have small kids at home. Do you have a relative nearby? You can explain what you're doing, see if they're willing to take your kids, let's say every Tuesday for a short period of time. If you don't have relatives nearby, you could trade childcare with a friend or a neighbor, have them take your kids for one day of the week, offer to take their kids in return for one day of the week as well. Heck, let your neighbor know what you're doing. Maybe they'll be inspired to do the same in their home as well. Another thing that you can do is you can pass off one responsibility I don't know what your responsibilities or what your chores are in your specific home, but is there something that you can pass off to a spouse or partner, maybe washing the dishes or handling the cooking or mowing the lawn or doing the trash? Is there something that you can pass off to someone else that you can use that time in decluttering your home and minimizing your possessions? 
The eighth idea, maybe easier said than done, is make it family time. Decide as a family with your kids, with your spouse, that you're all going to work together in one room and invest your time there together. I know, easier said than done, but maybe it would work, especially if we're talking kids' rooms or toy rooms, those types of areas as well. I think we all need to remember that we are in charge of our own schedule. We are in charge of our own days. And if something is a priority, then we need to find the time to do it. And hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe, share them with your friends.